Good afternoon students, this is your teacher John. Please read the article before you listen to this audio and also remember to pause the audio after each question to give you time to make up your own answer. Also, please be aware that although your answer may be different from mine, that does not necessarily mean your answer is incorrect. Remember to check vocabulary from Google which you do not understand. So question one. There is a problem in America at the moment. As we speak, can you please describe the problem? The problem is in regard to ash trees. Apparently there is a certain kind of insect from Asia which has been attacking millions of ash trees in America and effectively killing the trees. Question 2. Can you describe the, the process in which the beetle kills a tree? This is a typical IELTS graph question where you may may have to describe a process. So this is good practice for you. Well, firstly, the insect lays its eggs in the bark of the tree <coughs> and then when the, the eggs hatch, the larvae bore into the tree. This leads to the tree starving due to lack of water and nutrients. Now on to question 3. How are people trying to deal with this problem? Well the, the main method is quarantine. This means keeping away trees infected by the beetles from other healthy trees. Apparently the insects spread by being carried in firewood as they cannot fly very far. In addition, some people are using beetle traps. In this process they remove the bark of the tree, then capture the insects when they land on the tree. Last question number four. What is the prognosis for ash trees in America and what other methods are scientists considering to deal with this problem? They are considering other methods such as for example bringing in a natural predator such as a wasp from Japan which will kill the beetle. However, they are not very optimistic about this and unfortunately the prognosis for the future in America is that all ash trees will be wiped out. Last question, number five. As we know this beetle is not indigenous to America. It came from Asia. Do you think more safeguards should be made? to protect people and natural life from diseases or dangerous organisms which can harm them. Well, we already have many safeguards in place in regard to international travel. For example, if you are coming from a country where a certain disease is endemic you may be required to carry an inoculation certificate or medical proof that you do not have the disease. However, with the global economy as it is and international trade between a diversity of countries, this seems like a extremely difficult problem to totally prevent intercontamination between countries. 
Thank you for listening, students. Please don't forget to <coughs> Google vocabulary you do not understand. And if you want to discuss this article in more detail, make four copies and bring to class, please. Thank you. Goodbye.